Hey folks, so I just taught Brass Birmingham, which means I've played the game a few times by now, but I will always remember my first game of Brass. Someone taught me the rules, we jumped in, played a few actions, and then before I knew it, it felt like the Canal era was over and I'd barely done anything. I got my bearings a bit during the Rail era, but then at the end of the game, I lost out on a ton of points because I neglected a key detail and someone sniped the beer that I needed in order to sell a high value industry. I didn't play Brass again for years, which is a shame because it's a really good game. It's just one that has a few pitfalls that are pretty easy to stumble into on your first go. So with that in mind, here are my top five tips for your first game of Brass Birmingham. The biggest thing to wrap your head around in this game is the fact that just because you built something doesn't mean you're going to get to use it. And sure, sometimes you want people to take things from you, but other times you want to keep it for yourself. Now. All of the resources are going to be sought after in this game, and high-level play does involve seeing you know, what people want, when they're going to need it, where they're going to get it from, but you don't need to worry about that all, about all that just yet. Uh, instead, just try to find simple patterns. Things like, you know, if there's no coal on the board, you put out coal, people are probably going to want it. If the market is full of iron, making another ironworks is unlikely to yield a lot of great benefit for you. Or if you really need to drink some beer, well, maybe you should put that brewery as far away from anyone else as possible because, you know, you can always teleport the beer back to yourself. If you can start to see the ebb and flow of these resources, you'll be able to prepare for the best possible moments to build and use them. Loans can feel debilitating in some games. And sure, going into negative income can be a little bit scary, but at the end of a game of Brass Birmingham, all that matters are your points. What I'm trying to say is that taking an early game loan gives you the boost you need to start building industry. So it's something you should do. And because early loans, uh, because your income goes down by levels when you take a loan, early loans are easier to bounce back from than mid game loans. And then late game, you don't really care about your income that much. So getting a boost of money might be a great thing to do. Now, you can go a little overboard with it. So early game, don't take too many. You, sure, higher le high level players can pull it off, but first game, I don't recommend it. Just know that taking a loan or two is not only okay, it's often the best thing to do with your action. One of the other best things you can do with your turn is to develop. For the cost of just a couple iron and a card, you can get rid of underperforming industries and skip right to the good stuff. Now this might seem a little weird considering how tight the actions are in this game, but the thing is, building level 2 industries in the canal era is so much more valuable than building level 1s. Level 1s disappear, meaning that you won't get points for them at the end of the game, but also that you'll be missing out on board presence that otherwise would have been preserved between eras. The only bad thing about this is that you will use up iron, and if everyone's doing it, buying iron from the market, then, you know, there'll be demand for it, someone will come in and build a quick ironworks, make a lot of money from that. But even knowing that, uh, developing is still worth it. This largely goes for resource industries, but it's true for the others as well. One of the best ways to ensure that you'll sell whatever it is that you make is to be the only one making it, or at least one of a select few. If two or three other players have built an ironworks or a coal mine, it's unlikely that you'll be able to sell yours in a meaningful way. And then for the, the other industries, building them close to a market that will buy them is pretty great if you can sell it first. So if other players have already built a bunch of you know, box industries, then maybe you should go into the cotton or the pottery business instead. The one exception to this is beer. Beer will almost always have some demand throughout the game, and the higher level breweries are so valuable that making them is usually a safe bet. Another safe bet is railroads. These are one of those things that are going to get built eventually, so you might as well be the one building them. Yes, they're more expensive than canals, but they're also one of the most efficient point generators in the game. I'm not saying you should uh, ignore everything else, but putting a railroad between two busy cities is an almost guaranteed way to earn a huge chunk of points at the end. Also, because actions are so valuable, unless you need a railroad right now and can't afford to build two, you should always try to build two railroads every time you take the link action. And those are my top five tips for Brass Birmingham beginners. Uh, now, I make no claim that these are the best strategies in the world, and as with all good games, what works in some cases won't necessarily work in others. But I do believe that if you keep these five tips in mind, you'll have a better chance of feeling competitive in a game whose subtleties uh, can be a little bit hard to grasp on your first playthrough.
And if you have any good uh, beginner strategy tips, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you want to go a little bit more in depth, I've included some links in the description that helped me while I was writing this video. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.